going to film my New York haul. Um, I actually bought so much there that I decided to split it up into two. Today I will be shooting my fashion and clothing haul and then on another day I'll do my beauty and etc. Let's call it that haul because there's way too much things to pack it into one video and I want to make sure not to make it too too long for you guys. So before I start, um, I just want to let you guys know that you might notice that I'm going to look exactly the same in this video as I will in a future video that I'm going to upload really soon and that's because I just finished filming my winter everyday makeup look so if you like my makeup here you'll definitely want to see the video that I'm going to upload in a few days so stay tuned for that. Now for my New York haul you guys have been asking like crazy for it and I've been wanting to film it for a really long time but I've been so busy with school these past two weeks that I have had literally no time to film so it's really exciting to be able to film now because to be honest I've kind of forgotten almost half of the things I've bought so it'll be pretty nice to see them again. <laughs> So as weird as this might sound, I actually only bought clothes from two stores and that's Forever 21 and H&M which is exactly what I'm going to show you guys today and the reason for that was just because I love the styles in these two stores and the shops there were literally so big. If you saw my vlog, and I will link it right here so you can look, um, they were literally like five story, four story, three story, like stores and I was going crazy in them because they're not nearly as big here as they are in New York so yeah that's why I love them. I'm gonna get started with Forever 21 and then move on to H&M. So the first thing I bought from there were these really cool and warm tribal print Aztec print pants. Um, actually they're leggings and they're super super warm. Um, they were on sale for only 13 bucks and you guys should feel them. They're so warm and soft. I love them. I haven't decided what I want to wear them with but I figured that I had a lot of plain colored sweaters to wear with these just to make the pants stand out a bit more so I definitely love them and did I mention how warm they are? They're super warm. <laughs> Alright, so next I was looking for a really tacky Christmas sweater because I actually love them. I think they're so cute and I figured that Forever 21 would have some of them but they actually didn't or I couldn't find it anyways. But I came across this and it is just a really cozy pink version of a Christmas sweater I would say. So it's really thick, it's knit and white and cream, white and cream are the same color. I meant the same cream and pink colored sweater and I just really like rolling up the sleeves like that because I just think it looks way better like that and wearing a plaid colored top not plaid colored, uh, what am I saying? A plaid design top underneath would look super cute with the collar poking out so this is another one that I bought. So next I have this really orange cream, it reminds me of a creamsicle, I don't know why but it is this orange knit sweater and it's just really really Plain. There's nothing really too special about it. I just really love the way it looked and like hanged on me. If that makes any sense. I just thought it was really pretty. And you guys know I'm obsessed with knits so that was another great thing about it. And it looks really good paired with um, any kind of accessories. And I thought that orange, like this shade of orange, you never would think would look really good in the holidays. But I actually think that that's what makes it so like amazing because it's not something really typical. It's not a typical color for the holidays, but in its own way, it's beautiful. Alright, so my next purchase is actually my favorite purchase, you guys. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. It is my kitty sweater. Ah, I love it so much. I can't even explain it. Um, I was actually, if you saw my vlog again, you saw that I was in a cat section, but I didn't really find anything that I really liked in there. So I was just kind of looking around Forever 21, and I came across this sweater, and there was only one, and it was totally like in a section where it wasn't supposed to be just randomly lying there and I was like oh my gosh when I saw that it was my size I got 
so happy. You don't even know. Like, this is my favorite purchase. Everyone makes so much. My dad, like, he literally laughed at me. He's like, are you seriously going to buy that? And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to buy that. It's such a pretty sweater. I'm, ah, it's so nice. I love cats. I, I think I have an obsession, you guys. So my last purchase from Forever 21 is this neon pink, hot pink, whatever you want to call it, pink um, sweater. And it is super soft. Like, I said that the other sweater was soft, but this is way, way softer. Um, it is just a normal sweater. There's not much to say about it. But the color, like, I never knew that they made hot pink sweaters, like, cozy, warm winter sweaters in hot pink. So I was like, whoa, pink. I need that. So I bought it, obviously. Um, I think this will look really cute paired with the Peter Pan collar that I bought that I'm going to show you guys later. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so moving on to my H&M stuff. Now I just talked about how my Peter Pan collar would look really good with that pink sweater. And this is my Peter Pan collar. It is a cream color with um, sequins on it, with like rainbow sequins, and I just think it's super cute because I have so many knit sweaters and they are looking for a cute color to be worn with. So yeah, I actually had to go to three different H&M's to find this color because all of them were sold out of Peter Pan colors. That's crazy, right? Alright, so after that I was actually really, really, really looking for a peplum top for... It's been quite a long time and I could never find one here so I was like, oh, I'll buy it in New York. And so that's why I was so happy when I found this. It is a pink peplum top. Now it's kind of like a soft pink which I really like because I didn't want it to be too bold. I was either looking for actually like a pink one or um, a black faux leather one and I did find a leather one but I really didn't like how it looked or anything so I was really happy when I found this one. Um, if you guys don't know what peplum tops are they're just kind of like slim fitting tops that have they kind of like go out in the bottom and this is exactly what this is so yeah there's not much to say about it I think it looks really elegant I don't think I would wear this to school but definitely for holiday parties or just going out to the mall shopping I think this would look amazing now I really wasn't looking for any dresses because I don't find that I wear them too much and yeah even though they're really pretty I don't really have use for them but when I came across this I, I couldn't stop myself so it is a really pretty lace um, dress. The color is kind of, I want to say, it's a dirty rose color. That doesn't sound really nice. But um, it's definitely a deep beige, beige rosish color. So it has really pretty lace detailing on the body. And then at the bottom, it just kind of flows outwards. And I think this is the perfect... Um, type of dress for all body types. There's not really any specific body type that looks better than others in this one. And it also came in a lot of different colors, but I decided to settle on this one because I had a lot of black and white dresses, so I want to go for something a tiny bit more colorful, but not too out there at the same time. So that's why I love this dress. Now, when I came across this next deal, I like to say, um, I was pretty happy because you guys know that I was really excited for my Peter Pan collar and yeah when I found this I thought it was perfect because it has a sparkly sequined Peter Pan collar on it and I actually don't have any white sweaters so it was perfect so that I came across this one um, it's a tiny bit see-through which kind of sucks but I don't mind wearing camis underneath it so yeah I think this looks perfect because it's the perfect amount of kind of um, dressiness but at the same time it's not trying too hard or anything so that's why I love this. So my last fashion item is this beige blazer. Now I wasn't looking for another blazer because I already have one pink one and one gray one but I have always secretly wanted, well not really secretly, but I always wanted a beige blazer because I just think they are the perfect balance between like formal and casual so they bring everything together really nicely 
So when I came across this one, I was really happy. It was only, I think, 20 bucks, and it has two buttons down, and yeah, it's just the perfect length, and they have little cute bows, even though no one will see them. <laughs> they just cute bows on the inside. And it's the perfect length because I am a shorter girl, so, so like lengths tend to be awkward on me. They're either too long or kind of too short. So this is the perfect length blazer. So that's it for my New York fashion haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you want to see my beauty haul, which is all the makeup and other stuff that I bought but didn't mention in this haul because it would be way too long, be sure to like this video and leave it in the comments that you want to see it. And also, um, comment below and tell me what item you like the most or if you have any in common because that would be super cool to know that. Um, also, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!